Good morning and welcome back to Margin. This morning I want to talk to you about budgeting of all things. Starting a new year, jumping into a topic that many people don't want to talk about, but I find it to be extremely important to have a plan for your money. So let's jump right into it. So personal finance uh, personalities have seemingly removed the word budget from terminology, mainly because of the backlash of, of viewers and audiences who have a visceral reaction to that word. And so I also think that the budgeting word has been exhausted uh, to a certain extent. And so therefore, um, I typically refer to this as a spending plan or a plan to spend. Literally, this is just a play on words though. Uh, it may not actually feel like you are any more liberated by not having to use the word budget. But at the end of the day, it's so important uh, that you set aside uh, time to spend in this area so that you are ensuring on a daily, weekly, monthly basis uh, that you're living within your means. And that is something that in today's culture is so difficult. So I believe that perspective is key in life and money is just a tool. So if you're going to see it from that standpoint of having the perspective that money is be, to be used as a resource uh, for not only your needs, but also your wants, uh, then it makes it's so much easier to go through that process and to go through uh, what seemingly may be painful uh, in order to figure out where you are and where you want to go. So I believe that there is great freedom within parameters. And although parameters feel like they would be restricting, oftentimes uh, what I find is if you actually take the time to figure out what matters to you and what you want to apply your time, talent, and resources to, that uh, you'll find that you're, you're gaining so much more value out of each dollar that you allocate to that specific category that brings the most value. So I believe that perspective is key in life. And with your personal finances, it's so important uh, that you apply your time, talent, and resources to the areas that add the most value to you specifically. And what adds the most value to you will not necessarily add that same value to someone else. So that's why a budget or a plan to spend should be personal to you. So let me ask you a question. Do you direct funds directly to the area that adds most value in your life? Do you add uh, funds and funding to those areas uh, that make you come alive? Because oftentimes people don't budget first and foremost, but second of all, they don't actually look at their budget from a standpoint of where they actually need to apply uh, funds in order to gain the most value in life. So let's set the stage. Let's set the framework. Let's build that framework uh, for you to operate within a spending plan. And this spending plan will be catered to you specifically. And what works for someone else will not work for you. And that's what's important to realize today is, uh, is to build a spending plan around you specifically. So this may be my career choice of accounting and finance. This may be my upbringing, or it may um, just be my personal convictions around um, operating within a framework of a budget. Uh, but I find that there's so much freedom in parameters. There's so much freedom uh, that you can gain in your personal finances by literally just adding in a plan to spend. So I believe a lot of stress comes simply from a lack of perceived or actual control of your personal finances. And that's what I wanna help you with in this series is to look at personal finance from a standpoint of how do I set up the tools, the framework, and, and really build in the behaviors so that this is not such a stressful topic, so that this is something that you can get better at 
on a daily basis. So if this information is helpful to you, uh, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell um, so that you are reminded to come back here on a daily basis and to apply these principles to your life to become better at managing your finances.